Hello my friends, what's up? The Dutchman, Ruben Buys here. One of my patrons, Skip Orr, asked me to review the album No Place for Disgrace by Flotsam and Jetsam. I have to admit, I, and I know it's the biggest cliche possible, uh, the first thing I would think when I read something about Flotsam and Jetsam was uh, this is the band uh, of Jason Newstead, the band he left, so he could join uh, Metallica. That's literally all I knew, all I knew about this band. Um, so when Kip Orr asked me to review this album, you know, I didn't <laughs> didn't know what to expect. Uh, this band uh, originated in uh, 1981, and this album, the second album, was released in 1988. So, didn't know what to expect. Really was looking forward to it because you know it, it's still a familiar name. Uh, I started listening to this uh, album, and right off the bat, when the first track, the title track, "No Place for This Race," uh, started to play, you know, I thought to myself, "This is really fresh metal heaven." Uh, the first song, No Place for Disgrace. Absolutely, uh, yeah, it, it kicks so much ass. <laughs> it was absolutely uh, fantastic um, to hear. But and what what I really like uh, about this album and also about that song is its place for melody. Its place for a little bit. Uh, of, of, of a slower tempo. They were not afraid to, to use that slower tempo to give their songs uh, more depth. Uh, this song, uh, which is about uh, the samurai, it, it's so fast paced, so in your face. It, it's, as, and again, it's trash metal heaven. It um, I really was quite surprised. Because I didn't know what to expect, but the first song, it, it's also the best song uh, of the album, let that be clear. It's a fantastic introduction uh, to this band, and I really think it is a pity that they do not have, uh, that they are not on the same level of, let, let's say, uh, Anthrax or uh, Exodus, when we're talking about popularity. If I understand correctly, uh, this album was like the highlight of their career and unfortunately the, the, the albums which followed this one were not of the same quality. That, that really is a pity. But we're not, talking of, uh, we're not talking about their other albums, of course, we're talking about this album. And uh, I think it's, maybe it's a bold statement, but you could mention that it uh, with uh, Rust in Peace, uh, Bonnet in Blood, Rain in Blood, Master of Puppets, I think this album is one of the best thrash metal albums of the 80s, to be perfectly honest. As I said, what I really like about this band, that they're not, they're not afraid uh, to, use the, to use slower parts to, to, give, the, to give their music uh, some more uh, variety, and that's a lot of band, a lot of thrash metal bands in the a in the eighties miss that uh, miss that particular element. But uh, I think that gives Flotsam and Jetsam really their own uh, their own unique style, and that's something I can really uh, appreciate. There, <laughs> there are some fantastic uh, tracks uh, on this uh, album. No place for disgrace is the best one, I think. But we have also like Escape from Within, which starts out uh, really slow, and uh, after and after uh, like a couple of minutes, it's, it becomes relentless trash uh, metal. Uh, I was sm screaming from ear to ear during uh, that song. Absolute highlight uh, of the album. We got Any Terror, which has fantastic uh, guitar playing. It's, it's, it's so catchy. It's so uh, memorable, not a, not a standout on this uh, album. The album even has uh, an Elton John 
cover a Saturday night all right which I think it's pretty okay it's 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 all it's, it's maybe it's a peculiar choice to cover an Elton John song but I think they pull it off quite well I think it's a, a very uh, original approach uh, to it and all in all it's a pretty uh, cool uh, cover the singer Eric Knossen uh, his style of singing it's really a classic 80s metal stretch, but he also has some incredible talent for hitting uh, high notes. It was really a joy listening uh, to it. it. Really reminded me a little bit of uh, Judas, uh, reminded me a little bit of Judas Priest. Um, misguided uh, fortunate track has a lot of changes uh, in tempo and just goes to show how varied this uh, album is it was yeah <laughs> it, it i really felt so ignorant because you know it, it, it's, it's so silly to just know a band by the fact that somebody uh, left the band to join uh, metallica but when you listen to this album, with this album has so much great 80s trash metal with a lot of variety in the songs itself and with brilliant guitar playing, you know, what a, what a surprise. Uh, another track, uh, I Live, You Die, which is about uh, the Caesar and the, the gladiators. Uh, some great lyrics, great atmosphere. Great, uh, not, uh, not a great uh, highlight. This, again, this album it really came out of uh, really came out of nowhere for me. Absolutely, one of the and I now I've listened to it for like two weeks, and I really consider it one of the best uh, trash metal albums of the of the eighties. I think that's uh, and I know that's a bold statement, but I really think it's that good. Because of this album, it's such uh, such a highlight. I, I, I know uh, I, this is the only album I know. Uh, you know it, it's unfortunate that, that this band didn't uh, blew up, so to say, it became uh, very popular. But because uh, I think, uh, if you understand correctly, the first album and this album are really are the highlights. I've heard the last album is pretty cool too, so I'm really looking forward to hearing uh, that one. But it is unfortunate that they became, became one of the bigger names in metal. I am going to see this band uh, live uh, in August in a small venue in Rotterdam called De Boog. Really looking forward to it. Hope to see you guys there. I hope we're gonna play a lot of songs of this uh, of this album. Again, I think this is an absolute classic, and I'm gonna give this album five stars. You've heard it, my friends. Uh, I absolutely love this album. You know, thrash metal is my favorite kind of metal. So, if you like if you like uh, bands like Exodus, Anthrax, Megadeth, Slayer, Metallica, if you like 80 thrash. Look no further, my fans. Go and listen uh, to this album. You're in for a treat. Rock Quinn, thanks so much, man, for introducing me uh, to this band. You are the best. Thanks so much for supporting me on Patreon. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think about Slots and and what do you think about this album? Have you seen them live? Please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, click on the like button and subscribe if you like what I do. If you want to, you can support me on Patreon. That would be awesome. I promise I will do this for the rest of my life. See you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.